Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. Today we have a somewhat a unique opportunity. Um, last night I got an email from Viking Arms saying there's a Parcel Force delivery coming this way. In fact, the email was just from Parcel Force. Viking Arms have said nothing at all. I have no idea what is in this box. Now, this also fits in very well with that. I'm at home today doing videos because it's blowing a gale outside with the uh, Met Office saying, you know, somewhere 40 to 42 miles an hour. So, you know, I, I decided not to try doing outdoor video today. But yeah, it's quite funny because normally I've usually got some kind of idea what might be on its way and, you know, depending on delivery dates and this, that and the other things turn up. But generally I've got a rough idea of what might be in the box. But this one, I have no idea whatsoever. No idea whatsoever. So, um, <clears throat> we shall see. Viking arms, I mean, I get lots of some Hennels and things like that, Rugers and Mossbergs and Leupold. What else have Viking arms got? I did see something online this morning for a, a different scope brand that they have uh, coming in, but I don't know what it is yet. But what this is, well, it's in a bag. Let's just, you know, tidily get rid of all this uh, paper, which hopefully can't be damaged. Yep, let's assume that box was empty. And here we are. So there is a rifle in a bag. <clears throat> um, oh, I can see, I can see, if you look on the scene card, I can see Ruger here. So it might just be a Ruger bag, but let's have a look. Let's have a look. After some complaints before Christmas, uh, I have sharpened my knife, which was becoming lethally blunt to be honest, but opening cardboard all day does uh, take its toll. Let's just have a look and see what is in here. We'll get there eventually. <clears throat> Let's hope I set the camera recording, otherwise this will be a difficult second take. Let's go in the side pocket first. Oh, we got something. What's in the side pocket? Loophole VX3 3HD scope. So there might be a scope on it. Who knows what's in this little bag? There's some mounts or Allen keys or bits to do with something in there. Then again, this could be a, a rifle case that's been used for a previous rifle or a previous delivery somewhere. Who knows? Right then. Would you like to see it before I do? There it is. I don't know what it is. Right. Oh, it's a Marlin. Oh, good. Well, um, that's interesting because they've sent me this and I shot this a few months ago at the West London Shooting School and it's a 4570, I suspect. <clears throat> Uh, yes, it is a 4570 government, which pretty much puts an end to this unboxing because I have no ammunition for a 4570 government. So there's absolutely nothing whatsoever I can do with this rifle. I did shoot it at the West London Shooting School in October. It works very nicely. And as far as a review project goes, <clears throat> I will tell you this, that since Ruger have bought Marlin, the... Um, the quality of the rifles does seem to have improved massively. They're a lot smoother and a lot slicker. It does look very nicely made. And I have shot this on some, uh, we shot this on a, was it a bear or a buffalo target that was being driven towards us or something or other. It's got a loophole scope on it, which is obviously what was in that envelope. Um, and there we go. So if anybody wants to send any uh, 4570 ammunition for me to review this rifle, I will review this rifle. But if not, I shall put it back in the box because it's not really, anything I can do and um, 4570 ammunition is not that easy to get hold of. So thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to click the notification bell and maybe next time I get a completely surprise gift you'll be the first to hear about it as well. But you never know in a couple of days time maybe I'll get another email from Viking Arms and saying there's some ammunition on its way to me because that's kind of something you really need to do a full gun review. But there we go. All right, bye for now.
Oh, what we mustn't forget though is that they do send from Viking Arms, they always send Haribo. They always send Haribo and there's an invoice in there. Right, just to uh, stay on theme, these are the uh, tangy ones. Mmm, little cherries. I do like those. I wonder if they'll fit in the side here. What do you reckon? Shall I put it in? No, I don't think it's going to go in there, do you? Mmm, I do like Haribo. Bye for now.